Hi and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. The topic for today's Bible reflection is Can one be a politician and a Christian? The reading is from Isaiah chapter 7 verses 1 to 9. It's about, it's about four big political powers. In the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, the king of Judah, Rezin the king of Syria, and Pekah the son of Ramalia, the king of Israel, came up to Jerusalem to wage war against it. But they could not conquer it. When the house of David was told Syria is in league with Ephraim, his heart and the heart of his people shook as the trees of the forest shake before the wind. And the Lord said to Isaiah, Go forth to meet our hearts. Take heed, be quiet, do not fear, and do not let your heart be faint because of these two smoldering stumps of firebrand, was his message. Let me try to simplify. You have the big superpower Assyria right on top, then Syria, then Israel, and Judah right down in the south. Now, the city of the superpower, this big political power, wanted to expand and take over Syria and then obviously come down to Israel. And so Syria and Israel came together in coalition. And because Judah refused to come into coalition with them, they waged war. Now, Judah was scared and terrified and, as I said, was shook like a forest. In this situation, Isaiah now comes to the king Ahaz of Judah and tells him, do not fear of these smoldering wicks. Why? He says, trust in God. Trust in God. And listen to what the Lord tells of you. We know that in truth, finally, that Syria and Israel were both taken. Syria was captured. Israel went into exile and disappeared. And therefore, what Isaiah said was true. The whole point of this reading that we have today, which I'm reflecting as a reflection, is about the whole political point of view behind it. And therefore, can a Christian get involved in politics? Let us take a reading now from the Ducat, the social teachings of the church. I read from number 219 of the Ducat. Can one be a politician and at the same time a Christian? The answer, it is an honor for any Christian to serve society by becoming involved in politics. Nevertheless, there are decisions for which a Christian politician, for reasons of conscience, definitely cannot share responsibility. The fundamental values of the human person, life, freedom, dignity, are non-negotiable for a Christian politician. And so you see, it is an honor for a Christian to be involved in politics, but sometimes it's very difficult. And therefore we need to pray for good politicians and that more Christians get involved in politics. For this, let us pray. Lord, open my heart during this minute meditation.